Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm on StreamYard, and that's because I'm hiding a special guest. Now, the other day I uploaded a video where I had a little conversation with ChatGPT, and literally about 20 minutes after I uploaded it, this special guest sent me a workout, and he said, hey, can you notice anything with this? And I said, mm, it's a bit weird in certain places, but it's one of your workouts. And he said to me, well, chat gpt wrote it and i said are you copying my video and he goes you should do a video on this and i went i've just done a video and he hadn't seen it yet but anyway we decided to bring him in there he is mr <laughs> Oates rushton <laughs> what is up the swimsuit guy mr the swimsuit it's confusing because no matter where you point you're pointing the wrong way i tried that too it doesn't work yeah there he is and then i thought that's wow! Did, Sonny must have made this video really fast. Like I just sent him a workout, and now he's gone on ChatGPT and done workouts, and then already published a video on it. Wow! What a guy! Oh, and if we get this out soon, I'm going to be the member international with some of our guys. So if anyone's around, come say hi, give us a shout out. Good to see people. Go say hi to Tom at Edinburgh International. Unfortunately, I won't be there. I'm gutted. If I'd known. Maybe I could have been. Basically, what's happened is Tom, elite international coach, currently with a group in Israel, is trying to be lazy. And he was trying to get ChatGPT to work out how he writes sessions and then just write sessions in his style so that his swimmers would basically not realize that ChatGPT wrote him. Did, did you actually Which try one successful. of the workouts? You, 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 you don't. Yeah, yeah, we used the work. He, he, I don't remember which workout I sent you, but... We did use a workout. It was one of the summer's birthdays. So I kind of told them it was like a little birthday surprise that it was a chat GPT because he would appreciate it anyway. And then uh, as, as the word got around, you know, they discussed it afterwards. And I'm notorious for making uh, mathematical errors in the workout. And one of the, one of the things that they pointed to is, oh, well, it clearly wasn't Tom because the workout added up correctly. So clearly he didn't write it. <laughs> Full disclosure, I didn't take the exact workout and move it over. Uh, I made some licensing decisions and edits. Obviously, I wasn't going to just, you know, copy paste exactly. But for the most part, that's what we did. And now they're paranoid that every workout, they're like, did you write this workout? Or is this because this is this part's a little funny. We never done this before. Is that new or is that? Is it, yeah, it's quite amusing. OK, so we can, we're going to bring Tom's screen up now. We're going to share this we go. GPT so got, thing. Now, I will clarify as well. Tom didn't just say, hey, write me a workout. And it just so happened to be almost the same as him. His, he has nurtured ChatGPT, made a, a smarter ChatGPT and taught him, taught the <clears throat> AI his ways. I think people, you know, it's easy if you just, if you ask ChatGPT, this is new, this is a new chat. You can see I have this one up here in the top that's my swim zone stuff and now now i've started to try to work a little bit and and you know just explore some of the things that we could do with it but we're not going to use this we're going to use a new one uh, we're going to see what we go but if if we say uh what, what kind of workout are we going to focus on today sonny did we decide that we didn't talk about that uh not yet can we can we do some speed speed stuff yeah so let's say write me a swim training session for Olympic level swimmers. I've discovered that that doesn't mean anything to this, but that's fine. You can do a simple thing like this. You don't get a whole lot out of it. And I think that's kind of what you were doing, right? Like you were just yep. kind of throwing it in there. I asked it almost the same thing and it gave me a completely different session to what it's just given you. So, well, it's not gonna give you the same session, right? Like, come on now. So yeah, we get something really <clears throat> generic here. A lot of aiming for race pace, but it's yeah. not the best sort of session, is it? 50s freestyle, 45, aiming for rate, race pace. It's a bit ambitious, right? Yeah. And also, I was to give you this as like a little like disclaimer and like protection. Please don't yep. just go and do this and then get injured and then sue us. But this is what it is. Um, I want my session to be longer. Um, how about a similar session? But make it five, no, five kilometers. Yep. 
So you can, you know, you can kind of move it around in, in different ways and get it to do things. But I wanted to write a session the way I write a session. Now, when I originally started doing this, you have to always assume, oh, one thing I realized that I forgot to tell him was that we want short course or long course session, but mm -hmm. I don't know how important that is right now. But we always make, there's a lot of assumptions that we make when we're, you know, working with uh, writing programs, writing sessions and working with computers like this. One, you know, big assumption is that it knows what the word verbiage that we use is, and it clearly isn't using what we would use it as. Um, I like to use RPE. What is RPE? And it knows a lot of these things, so you can ask it some of these things. Then it will give you a very good answer. And this is exactly how we use the RPE scale in our sessions. And we also use um, color uh, training zones, let's say. Zones. If you are any of my swimmers, you know I use I have adopted Tom's system completely. So the colors and the <laughs> RPE I also use. So uh, I accept this is not the right one. Is this uh, a Banachek's color zones? No, I've never heard of these ones. Oh, but it's just a zones. I don't know what it is. But then, so now what we want to do is we want to tell it what we want it to do. Mm -hmm. Um, no, we, <laughs> just because I'm a little bit, you know, wanted to make sure that it knows who, who's, who's giving it, um, white, pink, red. So okay. you can, you can direct it and it does have the ability to look for other, um, other answers that are probably correct. Okay. So this is exactly like... what I wanted to do. This is excellent now. Oh, the drill swim. In there. Hit... It looks a little bit better. The drill swim just hit threshold though, Tom. Yeah, it's true. No, that's okay. That's so what it wants. The drill. Hey, you know what? Sometimes that's, you know, just to push it, I guess. The session's starting to work, though, right? Like the, the main set and cool down, I mean, it works. It's not a great session, but it, it works, I guess. Yeah. It's definitely not something I would, you know, copy paste in my athletes for sure. Mm. But it does look like we're starting to have a good conversation. It's starting to understand our parameters. But my goal was to get it to do a session that my swimmers would not know I didn't mm -hmm. write. Yep. So the way I did it was coming over to my um, workouts full here. So basically we, we template and there are some variations, but essentially each week is very similar. So if we go with, we can look at, let's look at what we did today for example. So anaerobic kicks, that's a bit of a speed session, 5.6K. So if I want to take this and I want to make a session that doesn't look very similar, I'm going to copy paste it in. And then I'm going to say this. Tom's session plans are the most beautifully done session plans as well. He has the date, he has little emojis, location, his little RPE chart. They're much better done than my session plans. One day I'll get there. One day. So let's see what we get now. It's probably the most uh, absorbing assistant coach you can ever have, right? It just does everything you want it to do instantly. And there you go. There it is. Um, and basically what it's done is it's taken all of the stuff that was kicking and it's changed it to... Uh, pulling some of it but what's interesting is that here this part this was originally this was uh with fins and it changed it to be with paddles oh, the same here which is kind of interesting we still have kick here and here and here so that's not exactly but yeah it says it's focused on pulling with paddles there you go okay so it's, it's still not done anything major can, can it go further than that have you had it go further than what it's just done Sure. Let's see what it says now. Okay. Oh, I gotta scroll. No, we still got a little. Oh, I know what we have to do. Okay, you got to explain that. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you have to. Again, I think we have to kind of think about 
what assumptions do you make about the uh, the understanding that we all have, not just the program, but yeah. so now it's not even it's not even kick anaerobics, it's upper body anaerobics. Look at that. It's yeah. It shows us understands a little limited with the understand underwater with paddles, but it has eliminated the kick completely. Yeah. It's not making paddles. huge changes there. It's, yeah. No. But it's still the same formula. Still five point yeah. six five. Can we can we ask it to to do like a four K workout with this information or something like that? Because then it will have to change things, right? Uh, it, no, it definitely knows how much it's making. It, it's ch it's changing a little more now, right? Yeah, it's definitely doing something. It's not it's not very exciting changes. No, it did eliminate the it did eliminate the uh, sponge in the seventy five paddles though for some reason. That originally had uh, sponge stuff. Well, we've now got a four point two k workout. So. It it's interesting that it did actually change that as well. Yeah. I was going to say, the workout that we actually ended up going with was more of an aerobic one. Which was the yeah. workout that it wrote? It was this one? Yeah. This was the workout that it actually spit out for me. Okay. And I did make some changes. These 12100s band pull were... It said 12100s band pull, and then it was like... Oh, I was too, too white, too pink. And then it was like to kick swim and, and i was like okay well you, you've lost the plot there i think i think for some of these sessions they're a little bit easier for it to uh do something different on let's try one more i was just going to say now that you understand exactly how i write sessions can you write and then give it a brief and see if it just starts from scratch on itself or you think it's best yeah, off going yeah. from a template does it kill your ocd in warm-up going an 800 into a 200 back into a 400 <laughs> i don't really care anyway so you can you can definitely get it to write workouts for you this one over here this chat i've been trying to work on putting some of the the stuff in i was thinking oh you've got it thinking some there you go okay there you go okay i get what you're doing Obviously, the more information that you give it, the better it can do, I yeah. think. Okay. Not bad. Uh... Like I think that's it, it does well at scaling the sessions like almost identically for longer or shorter as well. Yeah. Like that was a bit short, 4.6, but now it's going to do like a very similar thing and it will be 6.5. One thing that I find interesting too is like I never have written Pull Boy in session ever. Yeah. And I don't you write the word pads, but you know, now it's also using the word fins and I usually just put an F. So it's yeah. definitely got some, you know, knowledge of things. Yeah, that, that, that could work as a session there. That, I think that's a good one. Like, I, th I don't know if my swimmers would confuse it for one I wrote. Yeah. I think at this point, they would assume anything is from chat GPT. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, things, things like this, uh, two rounds of 850s, um, I think this is something that, I don't think I would write it going red, white. I think that's what would make them Jeez. think I yep. didn't write this session. By the time you formatted it into your little sheet, though, right, it's going to look very different. And, you know, with a little bit of amendments here and there, you know, you've got to work yeah. out. And <clears throat> I, I guess if you're trying to take one workout and just give it a little bit of a difference, a little bit of a twist and some flair, it kind of can do that job. If you're trying to, actually get it to write workouts it's not really going to do a job is it well i don't know my 
I'm wondering if we give it, you know, if I gave it six workouts that we did over the past six weeks, like let's say our Tuesday morning workout, which is um, kind of a little bit of sprints, you know, a little bit of easy, like a lot of easy swimming. I wonder if we had six of those and asked it for a seventh one, whether it would give us something that obviously the, the elements are similar, but, you know, would be different enough to make it interesting. I don't know. If you work hard enough, you can get chat GPT to make good <laughs> sessions. And if you want to write sessions as good as Tom Rushton without being Tom Rushton, you can just copy and paste a few of his sessions and you, you're, you're halfway there. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, what I will say is if you look at my video from last week where I, I chatted to AI and I got really crappy sessions and didn't really push much more, it just shows that Tom has gone, you know, a little further and he's got way better sessions than I did from AI. And um, I think it's pretty radical how much of a difference you can make by just sort of nurturing it in the right direction. Mm -hmm. One thing, though, as I was doing it the first time, I realized I wasn't going to be losing my job to chat GPT anytime yes. soon. So, yes. Well, I mean, the magic still happens on deck coaching the sessions, you know. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's where we really thrive, eh, Tom? Yes, exactly. Exactly. You know, you can't have AI on deck. Anyway, uh, cheers, Tom, for the... Why can't I ever get... I can't... I'm ridiculous. There it is. Cheers, this guy, Coach Rushton, over in Israel for the insights into getting sessions out of ChatGPT. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. See you later. Bye.